Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel Beauty by Jasmine. Today's video is going to be a Walgreens drugstore haul. So I went to Walgreens sometime last week or like two weeks ago and I picked up some new makeup, you know, because the Wet n Wild brand was on sale. So I was like, you know, I'm going to get some things. And you know, some of the things are still on sale, so I'm planning on going back, so there might be another haul very soon. I do want to say, though, to please excuse the lighting. It is very, very dark and gloomy outside. It is barely 1.30 p.m. in the day that I am recording, and it looks like, like if it's like 4 in the afternoon, like it, the sun's ready to go. But... Just please excuse that and please excuse any background noise that you may possibly hear in the back, you know, from my children. So let's just get started. I do have this box right here because my stomach is kind of doing like this little muffin top kind of thing. So I don't want you guys to see that. But anyways, let's jump into it. And I got some of the Wet n Wild brushes. Because they were that you buy one and you get one half off. And these are only a buck. So I spend like a dollar fifty for two brushes. Like so like seventy-five cents each brush I spent. You know? So I'm excited. I have not tried any of the wet and wild brushes. So I'm gonna give them a try and then I am going to do like a review video on them of what I thought about these brushes. I might pick up some more, but these were only a buck and the other one, the rest of them are like three dollars. But you know, um, I got the large eyeshadow brush and you know, this is a brush that I love to use to set my eyeshadow base with. So that's why I got that one. I got a crease brush I always use crease brushes, so I'll give that a try as well. I got a contour brush. It's, I love using uh, angled contour brushes to do my bronzer with. I got a small eyeshadow brush. This one looks very good to pack on like eyeshadow all over your eyelid or to like smudge out eyeshadow under your your eyelash your eyelash line. So yeah, and then I got um, two more. I got a fan brush. I don't know what's happening to me, but I have recently fallen in love with fan brushes. Like today, I used a fan brush to apply this this um, highlight by Jessica Lombrisky, I believe, the vintage one. So I'm excited to try this for a buck, like less than a buck. Yes. I'll, I'll try it. And then I got a small con concealer brush, it says. But this one looks very, very good as well to pack eyeshadow onto your eyelid and to smudge out eyeshadow under your lash line. So I will be giving those a try and doing a review on each of them. If I get more, like I'll let you guys know and do the review on them because... I have heard that there are some good brushes and some bad ones, so I'll see like which ones I like, you know, and let you guys know. So, alright, those were buy one, get one half off. I do not know if they still are though. And then um, I finally picked up my favorite mascara of all time. Like this one and the Too Faced one are my favorite of all time. Like they're they're dupes. This one is a dupe for the Too Faced one, but I like this one a bit more than that one, so I had to pick it up. I had to pick this bad boy up. This one retails for 7 bucks, and I like to shop at stores that reward you back. Walgreens rewards you back. Um, Ulta rewards you back. Sephora gives you samples back like to try with your points. Um, I like to shop at NYX, but they don't reward you back. But I like to shop at stores, basically, that reward you back. So that's why I, 
I like going to Walgreens instead of Target and Walmart, you know? So I, I just, I don't know. I had to pick him. I had to pick this bad boy up just because I missed him. And I am planning on doing the $5 and $10 challenge. I just, I was going to do it last week, but I wasn't able to because I didn't have any internet to even upload the video. So maybe, fingers crossed, I could film it sometime this week and upload it by next week. Like, you know, fingers crossed. But I got him. I got two packs of stickers. Oh, three, apparently. They were only a buck each. So I got some... Um, Three sheets of some princess ones. Snow White and Princess Jasmine are my favorite princesses. Snow White a little more, you know. Um, oh, I got these, the Toon Soon ones. I'm going to stick them on my phone. Um, I recently broke my phone. Like, I shattered it. And um, I dropped it and it shattered. So, I need to buy a new phone. But when I do, I will be putting this on there. And then I got three sticker sheets of the Shopkin ones as well. I love Shopkins. I, I, I don't know. They're just, they're really cute. I'm in love with Shopkins and Mickey. I'm in love with it. I don't know why. I just feel like a little girl, but I love the cupcake with the little face. I love, my, my favorite ones are the cupcake with the face, the chocolate bar with the face, and the, well, they all have faces, of course. And the lipstick. The lipstick and the perfume, the chocolate bar, and the cupcake. Those are my favorite ones. But I love these. Like, I, I'm obsessed with them. Alright, so that's that. And then um, I got the contouring palette and the illuminating palette. So I'm excited. I'm going to try those out. These were also buy one, get one 50% off. Mm, I'm going to probably try these out first and then maybe use them for the ten dollar challenge since these are originally like six or seven bucks each so i'm gonna try those and i'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna love them because wet and wild is really really good drugstore brand like i'm in love with their blushes they do fade away a little bit throughout the day but they're still there i love it i just love that brand Alright, um, and then I got two more of these Revlon Kiss Balms. They're, they're lasting and hydrating, supposedly. So these are, oh, these are like tinted chapsticks. And I did receive the Apple one in a subscription box recently, and it is in my purse. Still haven't used it, though. But I decided I needed to get some more while I was there. So I got the peach one and the grape one, I believe. This is grape. What is this? This is berry burst and this one is juicy peach. So I got those two. And I don't know, like I have said in the past that I do not like tinted chapstick. But I am trying to give it a try. Just for like those days that I don't want to wear lipstick or I want to wear lipstick but I want to take it off easy, easy without having to be carrying around makeup remover wipes all the time when I want to eat to take it off. So that's why I bought some of these. So I hope I like these. I, I don't think I have given them enough of a try to, to actually like to say like I don't like them like. I just said it, but I don't, I personally, I shouldn't have because I've only tried a tinted lipstick, like lip balm, I mean, like once or twice, and I already said I didn't like it, so that's kind of rude, you know, but I'm excited about these, especially since they're Revlon, and I love the packaging on them, and I love the shades. I have a peachy one, a berry one, and a red one in my purse. All right, and then the last things that I got are some lipsticks, you guys. You know, I can't stay away from the lipsticks. So I got five. I got six, actually, but I gave one to my sister. But I got five in my hand. 
Well, it's it's because these are on sale for um, these are on sale too. Buy one get one half off when I went. And these are on sale by three for ten dollars. So they're giving you one for free since each of them are four ninety nine. So I was like, yes, I'm doing that. And they're still three for ten dollars. So that's why I'm thinking about going back. But I went one time, found three different shades, went back another time, and they only had two shades. So I told my sister to pick one out of the two shades and get one. So I got the three for ten. Um, but I'm gonna do like a whole video uh, like swatching these on my wrist, putting one on my lips and reviewing them, reviewing it. So I'm not gonna swatch them right now, but I will tell you the shades I have as of right now. I have this bright ass pink one that is called Oh My Dolly. I have this uh, nudie pink nudie like this peachy shade is what I'm trying to say and this one's called coral consumption it's, yeah it's corally like a coral pink coral peach shade um and then I got this pinky brown so like the I don't know like this nudie shade <laughs> and this one's called pink really hard I got this like magenta purple shade and this one's called nice nice to fuchsia and then the last one I got is like this red orange shade and it's called flame on the game so I'm on the hunt for all of them like I I'm really interested in getting all of the shades for the wet and wild ones and um, I hope I could do it right now that they are three for ten bucks instead of five bucks each. So fifteen bucks for three, you know. So I'm probably gonna go on the hunt for them today, but it is raining, so I'm not sure about that. But I'm gonna look for these, you guys. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think about them soon in like a review and a swatching video. Swatching on my wrist and one on my lips is what I'm going to be doing. And um, just give me some time because as you guys probably saw earlier this week or probably last week already, I, am, I already have like three videos to put up of lipsticks and now here's another one. But I love lipsticks. I want to try the Jordana ones too. Like I, I bought a bunch of them and gave them to my sister because I got them for a dollar off. They they had an error that said a dollar off of each with coupon, but they couldn't find the coupon. But they still gave them to me for a dollar each. So I paid four instead of five for each of them. And I believe I gave her like like seven of those and three of the wet and wild ones so I gave her like 10 lipsticks and I don't know like I'm excited I want to try those as well I did recently see a a comparison video and the wet and wild ones do look to be better than the Jordana ones but the girl tested them out and like ate with them. I'm not going to eat with them. All I do with my lipstick is have it on. When I'm going to eat, I take it off. And then I put it back on after I'm done eating. I don't like to eat with it on because I feel like I'm eating the lipstick when I'm eating. So that's not that's not how I roll. But I, I think they're pretty good in general if you're not going to go and eat with them. And that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to try those out too. So maybe there will be another swatching video of those as well. Who knows? You know, I'm going cray cray on the lipsticks. You guys should see my Valentine's Day, what I got for Valentine's Day haul video. Like seriously, I believe I bought like 30 lipsticks, probably even more. And then I have the Wet n Wild ones. I bought those Jordana ones, but I gave them to my sister for Valentine's Day. <sighs> mm -mm. 
I, I go cray cray with the lipsticks even though I don't use much of them but you know they're my favorite part my favorite part of makeup is lipstick and highlight you know so yeah but that's gonna be the end of this haul video um let me know what you guys think about it should I get every single shade and then do the review video on them or should I just do like get what I can and do the review video on them now you know all right just let me know what you guys think if you are new to my channel I am so very glad that you found my channel and I really do hope that you click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my other videos like more future videos coming up and I really encourage you to hit on that bell button if you are like wanting to be notified of when I upload a video in my description box if you are new will be two of my past videos link down there for you to go ahead and just click on the link and it will direct you to that video so you could check out more of my videos whether you are new or coming back hello welcome welcome back um down there in the description box is also my social media account so that you could come and check out what I'm doing, chat with me. My phone is broken though right now as of the moment and I do not know when I will be getting a new one so I'm not going to be on social media that much right now. Um, <clears throat> what I am planning to do is share my husband's phone until I could get a phone. Like share it. Like he takes it with him when he goes to work and I use the house phone and then if I go out I take the cell phone and he uses the house phone but as of like right now the house phone isn't working it keeps it's saying that it's either out of range or that it's not charged I don't know why like I might have to call the cable people that came and tell them to come and check it out because that's weird like the set was working three months ago before I disconnected it, it was working. So it should be working. But just check me out on social media, whether or not I'm posting right now. But that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in another one very, very soon. Bye, guys.